We, the Rotra Club of Savita Medical College, are on a mission, the 365 Days Project. We, as responsible doctors, would like to create awareness about various diseases daily to keep our people safe and healthy. We now we are all facing a worldwide pandemic which has been out of control for the last three to four months. Let us get to know more about it. The novel coronavirus disease 2019 is an infectious disease caused by a severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2. It was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, Hebei, China and has resulted in an ongoing pandemic. The spread is unbelievable. By the 29th June 2020, more than 10.1 million cases have been reported in 188 countries with a record of 5,4,000 deaths. But the positive side being over 5.2 million people have recovered. Corona means crown and that is how it looks under a microscope. It has a spiky appearance. The virus may have jumped from animals to humans and mutated to its current form. It is totally new and we are still in the process of really defining its mode of action, transmission, cure and recovery. The WHO, the World Health Organization, declared COVID-19 outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern on 30th Jan 2020 and as a pandemic on 11th March 2020. Now let us look at how this virus spreads. It primarily spreads between people during close contact, most often small droplets produced by coughing, sneezing and talking to an infected person. So most infections occur when people touch contaminated surfaces and touch their face. The infection is most contagious during the first three days of the onset of symptoms. The virus plants itself well within the lungs and multiplies there comfortably. Thus, initially, the symptoms include cough, fever, cold, throat pain, diarrhea, running nose, shortness of breath, or even loss of smell and taste. The time from exposure to onset of symptoms is typically around 5 days, but may range from 2 to 14 days. The standard methods of diagnosis is by the nasopharyngeal swab test or a chest CT. As the whole picture is vague and we do not have much clarity because there are no vaccines or specific antiviral treatment for COVID-19. So the management involves treatment of symptoms, supportive care and isolation. And preventive measures include frequent hand washing with soap and water, maintaining physical distance, using hand sanitizers, using a face mask to cover the nose and mouth, self-isolation or quarantine. Our doctors, government, police and health workers are going all out to help us out of this situation. So let us cooperate and move into a new, well-healed world at the earliest. Thank you.